Howdy folks, this here is Tex Grebner with Tex Grebner Outdoors. And I'm out in my backyard again with some more wood from the pile. I'm gonna demonstrate batoning with the jungly short sword. And in my last video, I kind of did it with a little wimpy log. So this time, I'm gonna do it with a cookie from a log. And uh, I already split some off of this just to make sure that I could do it. But this time, I'm actually going to do it on camera. And uh, one thing that I've said before about the Jungle East short sword is its length. I'm pretty sure this is a 14 and a half inch blade. And um, you can see that it just basically spans that log cookie that I have here. So. Here we go. And I still have a good stable tip here to pound on because of its length. And I was going to show you how the blade was kind of bending and reset itself because of the great temper that's in this I say but I mean granted this here is dead but um I think that it's still a good demonstration of how if you needed to split something that was larger this is a good option for you. I'm getting closer to the center of it where I've kind of got a knot. But just keep pounding away on it. And uh it would be better if I had somebody here to kind of help me and hold the blade. But once you get it down in there, you can do it. there's that split and uh, not that you would ever want to have to baton something that's this long or this wide I should say with this blade you can do it granted my edge is nowhere shaving sharp but I think that speaks for itself. So now I'm going to baton something a bit skinnier, but yet still pretty stout and pretty long. Now that didn't go exactly as I wanted it to, but it did go in and I didn't set the blade the best. So that's a, that's a lot better set in the wood. And I mean, I'm not an expert, but I believe that this here is a good option for the amount of capability you get for as light as this blade is and especially 
for how long this blade is. If you're camping or, uh, or you're backpacking or you're hiking, I think that this is probably a pretty good option for you. Now granted, this isn't the hardest wood, but you saw how it did on that really hard piece of stump I had. And so, I like it. Now, I'm not going to claim to be military, and I know that I'm definitely not an expert, but um, as this is kind of a, an ancient military style blade, the Copus, if you were, say, deploying, I mean, I don't know about this, but if you were deploying and you fixed a tech lock on this and you wanted to wear it on your left hip and uh, you weren't going to be riding around in a vehicle too much and I mean even riding around in a vehicle uh, you could probably manage it but uh, this blade the Copus was originally designed for fighting by the way like I said this is a jungly short sword and right now I'm just kinda of demonstrating it as a potential option for survival and backpacking but regardless, just the sheer span of this knife and its ruggedness, I think speaks for itself. But like I said, I'm never going to claim to be an expert about this. But for as light as this knife is, let me say again that you get a lot in that package. I'm not going to say that it's super light. But what I am saying is, compared to other blades that I know are out there, this blade is very light in comparison to the amount of blade length that you're going to get out of it, and just the amount of splitting potential that you have with it. So, this year's Tex Grebner with Tex Grebner Outdoors demonstrating the Copus blade shape. And uh, this is the Jungly Short Sword in Os 8 that I would definitely recommend as a day hiking blade and as a, and as a survival option for a larger survival knife that is actually for its size remarkably light and very well balanced uh, you've seen what it did and um, there's no damage to the blade and uh, this is no bullshit time here at Tex Grebner Outdoors because uh, if I have something go wrong I'm definitely going to show people that I had something with my equipment go wrong so that it doesn't happen to them. So, just one more time. And I mean, shit, the blade actually just whacked through a knot. So check this out. I think that it's a good option. And uh, like I said, I'm never going to claim to be an expert. But, uh, if you're a soldier, you could possibly put this on a web belt with a tech lock and wear it on your left hip, but I don't know. But this is Tex Grebner from Tex Grebner Outdoors saying, God bless all my Ted Nugent blood brothers out there. God bless all of those of you serving in the military. Thank you, and thank you to those of you in law enforcement, and thanks for watching. Tex Grebner Outdoors.